Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Yes, uh, currently 7.30. Almost 7.30 in Philippines. Yeah? So, guys, please uh, let me know in the comment section right now. Just there by say anything. It's been quite some time since we were live, right? Almost like a month. So, so far we have Julio in here. Como esta Julio? How is it going? Yeah, good evening. We also have Lynch. Yes, welcome, welcome. So, um, again, welcome to those people yeah, who just came in. Please drop by the comment section and just say hi. I can see how many of you guys are in here because I cannot see how many people are, you know, are currently watching. But then again, um, it's been quite some time, right? That we did the live. So, and also our live is, uh, you know, it's uh, abrupt. So, anyways, hello, hello, Raj. Yes, Kalado, welcome, welcome. So, for this evening, everyone, we're just gonna be seeing how the Bitcoin is. It's very important now. We're literally approaching the halving, you know, halving event. That is why, you know, it's on. We have to do our live every single day now. Okay. So, um, so far, let's open our Bitcoin chart. Okay, let's review where we ended last time. Yeah. So, um, anyone remember this purple, purple uh, zone that we did? Yeah. I have the notes in here. Yeah. Because we, for those who, you know, who have not seen it yet, you guys can review the last live. Um, that is available in the in my channel so let's open right here we have march 1 i have stated that it was bearish so let's open march 1 march 1 is around this area okay currently guys we're at the march 10 let's move forward a little bit okay march 10 march 11 right around here again march 11 i have stated that day one is bearish RSI. Okay, bearish, bearish. So at this point, everyone is pretty bullish, right? But I have stated that there is weakness now in Bitcoin. And watch out for the candle close of purple zone. So any candle close below the purple zone in terms of the daily candle, it's going to be the start of the movement to the downside so uh, as we can see right here i have stated as well we still have it we have the divergence of the four hours i guess i guess this one was in the four hour section yeah so not even by the four hour but we can see it by the daily already let me expand yeah there you go yeah so can you guys see that yeah divergence so after that miss what happened right um from there on again like i said any candle close watch out for the candle close below the purple zone right here this is this especially this candle this one candle that is the indication already we are starting to move down so this one was roughly march 15. yeah march 15 and then from that day on forward what happened Let's count from the closing of this, uh, um, what is this? Candle, yeah? All the way down, 12% drop. Okay, I'm not even counting from the top, but that closing candle of the daily of March 15 below the uh, purple, purple zone. So let's move from here. Okay, we have some retests, but so far, guys, what we are just experiencing right now is just oscillation, oscillation, or ranging of the market, which is that is why you know I have not done uh, lives. I have not done. I'm not. Even, I was not even in Discord. We were, you know, without the uh, traveling. So. In a sense, that market is expected to be sideways. So, sideways, as you guys can see, we have not moved since then. 
we're just going up and down in terms of bitcoin but on the altcoins it's different you know there's a different story so again um market is just ranging from 61,600 all the way to 70,000 that's in, that's it yeah and uh, we get the break around 60 but then i do not consider it as a break more of hitting the supply zone of you know we have a demand zone below here and if ever guys okay since halving is coming i have marked the uh, red area in here halving again is gonna come roughly around uh actually like roughly around this time uh 17 to 21 or maximum 20 okay no expected date Let me remove this one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, with the halving event, okay. Um, I want you guys to be expecting the uh any downfall from here. It's not gonna be a surprise, okay. But then the downfall we have to think historically. From here to down, to down right now is 20%. Remember I told you before that when a Bitcoin do corrects, expect 30% maximum. So if we're talking 30% maximum, roughly around the 51 area. That's why we have it green, you know, highlighted green right here. So 30 or roughly around uh, 55, 56, this whole zone, guys, that we're seeing with Bitcoin, if you, if anyone in here right now are ex are um what's the word for that? Um wants to invest into Bitcoin, this is your time. Okay. But then again, actually, wherever we are at right now at 62, it's still already a good buying point. What I'm just saying is this point right here 56 to 51 it might come might not come I'm telling you right now because whatever the play that bitcoin is currently doing right now is totally different somewhat more of different than the previous cycles that we did so you have to understand um when we talk about halving the price goes down right after halving in a sense that the miners are selling their coins because you know uh, the price are low and there's not that much rewards anymore but the different thing this time is that bitcoin is at the all-time high price so i do not think that the mining or the halving event is gonna affect the price of bitcoin that much that is why the area right here is still a 50 50 that i can tell you by probability not 16 at 70 okay 50 50 clear so where are you at right now you can buy and then if we ever go around this area guys close your eyes <laughs> buy okay for those who wants to invest in bitcoin okay so let's see our newcomers hello hello okay we have cloud yeah coming good evening good evening we also have so uh, alisa yes snx are you holding snx alisa yeah okay so by the way uh for those who does not know yeah we have a hedge pool right remember our hedge pool lost the uh, hedge pool last year november december this is wherein you are able to invest small amount of money roughly like 200 dollars minimum this minimum and then you'll get a reward after the lock-in period of a year and currently we are at our quarter season quarter so by april and uh let me tell you <laughs> that 
I am opening the hedge pool again because there's too much, too much uh, request, too much, uh, you know, people messaging me for investing purposes. And especially for those who are new to the market. Miss, uh, do you have any like, you know, portfolio management, investing, anything like that? Guys, I'm going to open both of this because some people who were asking me, I understand they cannot do the hedge fund. Hedge fund, everyone, the minimum I ac accept in here is $2,000, okay, for fund. And the thing with hedge fund is this. You get a monthly return of 1% of your account, monthly return. On top of that, the uh, um, trade profits, we do 50-50. 50-50 tayo. So, yeah, do the maths, everyone. This is just an overview. Okay? And then the hedge fund lock-in period lang, okay, lock-in period, is just three months. That's it. I have hedge fund full uh, people, yeah, hedge fund. That has been with me since 2022, since I have opened it. So, can you guys count the years now? Two years. Yes? So, I'm opening it again for the first time. I have not opened it, Liva, like last year. Hedge fund, guys. Okay? So, this is for those who wants to have some serious return. For hedge pool, yeah, this is... For those people who I understand does not have, you know, that much amount of, for now, to put in, minimum that I'm ex uh, accepting this time. Last time, we, you know, minimum was 200 Minimum in here is $300. Okay? So, the lock-in period for those, you know, is one year. So, Miss, when is the one you're going to start for, for me if I'm going to get into this right now? It's going to start around, roughly around May. Okay, May or June. So, that would be the area we're in. We will start the hedge pool too. But from now on only, I need, uh, I need you guys to be, you know, uh, locked in because this is going to be a limited spot. Okay, so roughly like second week of May, I'm gonna close. So we're at good, uh, uh, you know, good days only. Uh, since April, uh, from April 17 to roughly like May, let's say 15. That's a good month, yeah, good amount of month. So I'm gonna be accepting, but from then and then after that, hedge pool number two is going to start. So lock in period one year, and then there's a maintenance fee, right? So this this is just again overview. So there will be a maintenance uh fee. One uh one, okay, one time payment only. Okay, per year. And uh again, uh the update, everything is gonna happen quarterly. Okay. So for the first hedge pool, their quarterly update is gonna happen this month, April. Yeah. Um, again, guys, I am opening this two again. So for those who are interested, okay, right now, who wants to grow their account, who you know, don't want to do anything, guys, message me in Instagram, Mayari Capital. Okay, whatever you see right now in the screen, Mayari Capital, down there in Instagram, or there's a link below in the description to avoid, you know, scammers. Okay, message me. To secure slots. This message hedge fund or hedge pool. That's it. Okay. So going back um on our uh Bitcoin right here. Oh <laughs> welcome, 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 real reality has quite some time, yeah. I'm just uh you know, uh what's the word for that? Enjoying some free time before the Bitcoin properly starts, yeah. And obviously the halving. Halving, everyone, is going to be quite a event after the halving. Quite an event for a couple of months. So don't worry. I'm going to be with you, everyone. We're going to be doing lives. 
So, Stephen, yes, kumusta? Ma'am, yes, ma'am, kumusta Hedgepool? So, Hedgepool, again, uh, the members, okay, the clients, they're gonna get their updates this month, right? So, Rush Challenge, mom, yeah. <laughs> Are you in the Rush Challenge? We have to do the Rush Challenge. Yeah, we have to reload. Reload again. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, with Bitcoin, uh, where we at right now is literally at the bottom at the 62k level. Okay, as I have stated, it's a good area to buy, but the maximum buying point is around this area. So, okay, so let's uh, update here. Mm -hmm. Let's do Marn in March. Yeah, April, April 17th, everyone. Few days from the halving now. Very exciting, yeah. And uh, currently at the 62K, buying point. It's a buying point already for you, too. Okay. And the last wall that we're going to be expecting is by the 51K. Let's count the 51. All the way to the 56 k okay. this is extreme buying point okay extreme buying point after the halving event okay after halving or possibly even before halving okay before halving any at this point right now we're almost near at the april 20 okay so, um, yeah, that's updated. We just have to wait now with, with Bitcoin. On the other hand, in terms of altcoins, altcoins literally drop. Some others, uh, some of the coins drop like what? Percent, 60 percent that I have seen. Can you see this? 50 percent. This is just the ADA. Yeah. <laughs> so, continuation pattern right there. So, Miss, I would like to get into ADA or let's say, you know, I'm opening ADA because it is at the buying point. If you want to get into altcoins, Miss, I want to diversify with altcoins. ADA is at the good buying point right now. Um, can you guys see that? That technical wise, one, two, three, multiple support. Rejection right around this area. Rejection, rejection. So. We're expecting this level to be a support. And at the same time, the 0 0.4 of ADA is a psychological number. I'm telling you guys, for those who are listening right now, I can tell you by ADA. So with ADA, even just, you know, even just by around this area, if you're able to buy, you know, where the price is at right now, let's say, I'm not even hitting the all time high. I'm getting all time. That right there is easy. Double the money. Double the money. 0 0.44 to 1. Easy double money. So, okay. One thing is ADA. And then, second thing, um, it was not algo, but Matic. This I have given out with my private student. Yeah. Well, one of my private students and uh, was able to buy right around this area 0 0.6 0 0.69 0 0.68 right around here i'm not talking short term type of uh, movement with matic okay the trend line that you guys are seeing started from march 2021 can you imagine how crazy that is and you are at back at the support again. Matic. So Matic, everyone. Um, I'm not again gonna target the all time high, but roughly by the red area. And that right there is again hundred percent return by just spot. Okay, I'm giving you guys. So that too for now. Okay, two. Major updates, uh, ADA, and then MATIC. 
So going back on our Bitcoin right here. All right. All we just have to do now is literally wait. We cannot do anything or like, um, you know, do some heavy swing trades in this. And for those who are shorting the altcoins, okay, uh, the fun, I mean, the party is about to be over. <laughs> okay, so do not max lab short anything now. Just, just a precaution for those who are listening. Because again, we're almost hitting the bottom of the altcoins area. And at the same time, halving comes, sideways comes, and altcoins are going to catch up. So for those who are planning to swing short more, the altcoins, be careful. Okay? So again, everyone, um, yeah. For those who are interested in hedge fund and hedge pool, just message me in my, uh, in my Instagram. That's it. Okay? I guess for those people are like, oh, miss, I saw a comment in this where the, the everything got hacked because uh, I was away, right? I haven't even updated in uh, Instagram, not even a story. Yeah. So I have not uh, shared anything, all my travels or anything as such, right? But I was just taking a time off of the market before we face especially the halving the sideways and then the rally that's it but again i'm back everyone and from this day on forward we're gonna be having live same time roughly around this time yeah? so stay tuned and yeah that's it for now guys and i'll see you on uh tomorrow okay it's nice to see you guys again bye bye hey, everyone